Welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. We've covered Stallion Discoveries. We announced uh, 1st of March that Stallion was going to be embarking on a survey uh, program in the Athabasca region. Uh, they have just announced as of yesterday uh, that they have successfully concluded uh, that survey and will be employing uh, the same company to interpret those results for the company. Now, Stallion over the last couple of months has kind of flown under the radar. It is a company that I intimately cover and have covered on the channel before. But I wanted to make this announcement here because what is going to come out of this is going to be extremely interesting. Now, for you guys that also cover the company, you'll, you will have also witnessed a move in the stock in the last couple of months to the tune of a modest 30%. Why is this important? I think with what we know and what has been announced thus far on the progress with Stallion Discovery, I think it is absolutely in everybody's best interest to follow this company specifically uh, and the uh, space in general uh, to pay attention to what Stallion announces as a result of the survey that has been uh, ongoing for the last couple of months. And I will be eagerly awaiting the results of that survey. But for you guys that are new to the Independent Investor Channel and the Stallion Discoveries opportunity, I want to take this opportunity to invite you to the Stallion Discoveries website, which I will leave in the description below. The ticker symbol for U.S. markets is identified here on the screen for you on the quality board markets under STLNF. Uh, for full disclaimer, um, I want to uh, offer you guys the uh, disclosures uh, in the description as well. Stallion Discoveries has partnered with the Independent Investor Channel. Uh, we offer this content, and I have been con compensated uh, in doing so. The details of uh, those rates of compensation are provided in the description uh, below with the goal of full transparency in mind when we roll this content out. So with that, guys, we're going to take a look at the announcement. We're going to take a look at the chart action. We're going to highlight a couple of slides from the investor presentation. And we are going to try to capture uh, the update that was just released uh, April 27th um, on the conclusion of the uh, survey work that has been uh, completed and ongoing the last couple of months in the Athabasca region. Stay tuned. We're actually in the Stallion Discoveries website. You can find this information for yourself, review it at your own leisure at stalliondiscoveries.com. But I wanted to actually highlight this and uh, go through it uh, with the investor audience here so you guys can understand the scope of this project, um, the magnitude of how large this survey package was. Uh, that's why over the last couple of months, that they've been actively engaged in this. And the last update that I received on the interview uh, with Drew Zimmerman on the channel here um, was that they were satisfied with the progress, um, but they had a lot of work to do. And there's been a, a few weeks past since that update. Um, and this has been uh, really the, the focus of Stallion Discoveries over the last couple of months. So Stallion Discovery successfully completes airborne geophysical program covering their entire Athabasca Basin and land package. So, Stallion Discovery is pleased to announce that Geotech Limited has completed flying a VTEM plus electromagnetic and magnetic survey over all of Stallion's 78,831 hectares in the Athabasca base, Basin in the Saskatchewan. The company con uh, contracted Geotech to undertake the program using Geotech state-of-the-art VTEM plus system to cover all eight of the company's projects. Now, my understanding, in accordance with what, with what Drew had offered for uh, our audience last time, is that they uh, were familiar with Geotech's work, and they were very, very excited in what they could turn back in way of the data to give uh, uh, Stallion a strategic direction on where they need to, to focus on this property, okay? Uh, the VTEM technology has been used extensively by many explorers working in the Athabasca Basin since its introduction in 2004. So it's been proven to work kind of a best work practice here. 
Calibration studies by Arriva, now Arano, have demonstrated the VTM Plus system is capable of detecting basement conductors at a depth of 750 meters. Very impressive. The survey was flown using a line spacing of 200 meters, so fairly tight with a land package that large. I'm sure Drew is going to be happy with that, and um, he'll probably ex express his uh, thoughts a lot more when he comes up and gives us an update on this. But for now, we've got what is has been released in the press release um, thus far with an aggregate of 5,150 kilometers. Condor North Consulting ULC was engaged by Stallion for the quality assurance, quality control, QAQC, of the data acquisition phase of this survey. With the data acquisition phase now complete, Geotech will work to complete the data processing and product generation over the coming weeks. So there we've got a little bit of time frame when we can expect a potential um, release uh, surrounding this uh, data uh, that's been gathered over the last couple of months. The company has further engaged Condor to work on the interpretation of the survey data. Condor provides a full range of services for processing, modeling, and analysis of geophysical data. The team has extensive experience in all aspects of geophysics and works with clients to integrate geoscience data into a coherent project data set from which sound exploration decisions can be based. Condor has significant expertise in the Athabasca Basin and in uranium exploration, which is what this is all about, guys. This technical continuity from data acquisition phase through, the, through to interpretation ensures best data quality leading to the success of the geophysical compilation and targeting of high priority zones and potential drill targets. The survey represents the key first step on proven exploration roadmap in the area with the data acquisition phase of the geophysical survey now complete. Our team is looking forward to the processing and interpretation phase as we look to prioritize key target areas and potential drill targets. End quote, says the CEO, Drew Zimmerman. So a really fantastic update here. Wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. Again, I would invite you to Stallion Discoveries to review the news release uh, yourself. This was just uh, one day old, so hot off the press. And uh, hopefully you guys can garner uh, some anticipation of the, um, uh, the results of that as they are looking to uh, evaluate the survey uh, and finalize the uh, survey data for release at a later date. And the stock charts tell an interesting story here with Stallion Discoveries. I want to draw your attention here. This is a three-month chart here we're looking at um, here at the low on the double dip in March when they announced embarking on this. And this was about the same time where they did their, uh, their rather large capital raise uh, to, to actually fund this uh, survey work that they were doing and other activities um, under the company umbrella. Um, the stock has uh, performed quite well, uh, up 30%. Now, this stock chart, please be advised, is in CAD. Um, that's totally fine. Um, relatively speaking, you can see an upward trajectory um, in the stock price. If we look here uh, month over month, which is a lot less uh, interesting to me, but it does show that that leveling off here in the small cap market, which has been um, indicative of all of the micro cap markets, which has been on a rough ride. And then if we look at the six month chart, we can see a little bit more of an uptrending uh, stock here. Something really is material, really materializing here uh, for Stallion Discoveries. And, and you, you have to look at what they have done in the recent past with their massive land package acquisitions and what they're looking to do and then to strategically go after um, identifying the um, the necessary capital, securing that capital, and then deploying that capital uh, to, to not only embark on the survey work that uh, has just recently been uh, announced completed. So I, these guys are just firing away and I think the stock chart reflects, uh, at least from a modest perspective, a company that is really on the right trajectory. All right, guys, so we've concluded our uh, update on Stallion Discoveries. The announcement uh, was uh, released just yesterday, brand new, hot off the press. I will share the link uh, to the news release.
as well as any other pertinent information on stallion discoveries. I invite you to check out that information and stay up to date. On that, I will also invite you to subscribe to the Independent Investor Channel, where I will roll out real-time updates to Stallion Discoveries as they are made available to me. You're going to want to stay tuned. We've had the CEO, Mr. Drew Zimmerman, on the channel before, and I expect an update once the results of the latest survey work have been uh, concluded and prepared for uh, release to the general public. Guys, if you enjoy the message, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you have comments and questions about Stallion Discoveries, leave those in the comments section below. Hit the thumbs up button for me. And as always, good luck in your investment future.